done a lot of work trying to capture what the Russian government has been doing, what President Putin has been up to in Ukraine. And we've seen there that at times when he claimed not to have Russian troops in Ukraine, everyone saw that they were in Ukraine in part because Russian soldiers themselves were checking in on the digital networks. And the same thing in Syria. We saw time and again that when the president and the Kremlin were reporting one thing, the facts on the ground, partially documented by open sources, people posting on the ground and people being eyewitnesses had reported something totally else. So it bears the question to, um, it bears to ask the question what the intentions of, of the Kremlin really are in, in the region there. We at the Atlantic Council have just launched uh, our newest initiative, the Digital Forensic Research Lab, uh, that tries to educate both policymakers and the public about how to navigate this new, more digitalized age by encouraging uh, better training and education in open source and digital forensic research. Uh, we've seen in the past that whenever we don't just have an opinion, but we try to back it through um, innovative research that is adopted to this new age, that the public is more interested in engaging in the content and learning about it. It is, absolutely. So we've seen the success of the Russian disinformation in Ukraine. It has worked out quite well for them. We've seen them continue that misinformation campaign in Syria. Uh, more people started being critical of what they're up to. But it has not stopped uh, President Putin from using the same methods and techniques of disinformation uh, to misinform and create instability within the political uh, establishment in, uh, in Europe and across uh, the European continent and even in the US uh, by attempting to make the citizens question the credibility of uh, all established and, and, and important democratic institutions that have been put in place uh, as in Europe, to keep our continent safe. Um, look, uh, I think it's too early to judge at this point whether uh, what course this new administration will take. Uh, we are just at the early stage of this new administration. It certainly is going to be a different course than the Obama administration has taken, but what that course is going to be is yet to be determined. I highly doubt that. So, uh, President Trump has said certain things on the campaign uh, with regard to the spending of allies, uh, where he has uh, urged member states to pay up their share and to pay the 2% GDP uh, marker. But he also has now more recently been a, a more uh, open supporter of the alliance, despite previous criticism. In the end, the US really relies on its allies. and the US administration will understand sooner or later that it is strong over balance and they will probably not lead to any disengagement.